every half of us, the three senior members of the Plainfield High School state champion, final uh, participants in the tournament champions, Plainfield finals. Uh, we start with uh, Alan Brown, senior guard. Boy, is it senior guard? Just a little quick bit. This, this is Mr. Lock em Down Brown. Right here. This is Mr. Clutch, Vaughn Clutch Anderson. We're going to talk about that. And this is Mr. Defense's specialist, Ronald Mullins. All right, let's um, start off. When did you guys think this season would be special? Um, me, uh, well, the season got special to me, Mendel game. Because that was when we really saw that it wasn't just about you know the starters. It was about the whole team. That everybody, especially these two, came in and gave us a great spark. You know, like they, their minutes were kind of limited throughout the regular season, but like we saw in the postseason that everybody was a key part to this team. And they came in full, had some clutch free throws and a couple of clutch three that, that gave us the lead in that game. Lotto locked down their point guard who was killing us all day. You know, like this and the ball off, and, and they pretty much closed out that game when you know some of our some of our starters got in foul trouble. You know, started getting injuries, and you know they really closed out that game, and that was a key part of our season. I, I want to stay on that topic for a second because you two guys in the reserve role you went into that gym. That gym was extremely hostile. Now, how did you guys was able to come out and do the things we did? I mean, Vaughn, you. Came up big in that double overtime. I mean, Delano, he was put on the spot to stick that guy that was missing from deep at all. And, you know, I, Alan Brown had fouled out. Uh, who else? Jamal fouled out. Dijon fouled up. He couldn't play. You guys know me. Had to step up. Someone with the Seniors, um, did you guys feel that you had to take on a, a certain level of maturity with the younger yeah. guys on the team? I mean, how did you guys do that? And you know, how did you guys keep the, the guys focused and so forth? Well, we all play around a lot, especially Alan. Yeah. He's the clown of the team. You know, he always makes my laugh. But, uh, we knew when to play around and when to be serious. So there you go. Definitely, like off the court, you know, we were the best of friends, joking and laugh. But practices, yeah. when that was that was when it was grind time. We got down to it because we had a mission, and this year we succeeded in getting the ring, getting the state championship. Okay. I'm going to ask some of the things about yourselves, let the playful community know about you guys. <laughs> All right, let's, let's let's focus on basketball a little bit. Um, start with you, Alan. What's, what's your basketball strong point? Um, well, I think my basketball choice points is my defense. Offense, I know is going to come. You know, I had some games where I wasn't really clicking on offense, and I had some games where I was clicking on offense, but consistently my defense was always there. That's something I never, you know, stepped on the court without bringing. You know, so definitely my defense was a strong point for me in my game. How about you, Bob? Uh I think I, I make big shots when it matters. I think I, I give a big speed, and I don't give a big spark off the bench. So that's the best part of my offense. How about you, Bob? Straight me defense. Tell me something. We, we, you know, we've been following you guys. The fans have been following you all season. It's been a long season. You know, tell us something that we don't know about you guys. Oh man, Some stuff that you don't know. <laughs> Remember, you like that. Uh, okay, <laughs> what don't the people know? <laughs> <laughs> they joking. Oh wow, I don't know. Oh, uh, you guys like the stitch or something like that? You know, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, some of the people don't know. Um, I, I dance, you yeah. know. Well, I I danced, you know. Uh, yeah, we I put on a production, um, early in the year. Me and Delano yeah, actually, both. you know, bag dancers, jazz, yeah. you know, ballet. Um, yeah. you know, we, we do, do it all. all. Modern <laughs> dance, you know, we do it all. 
Um, no bones? What, what, what do you do? Well, bones, are, bones are cook here. We have a cooking <laughs> class. Yes, we take foods one. So, you know, we cook dishes from, you know, <laughs> buffalo chicken to, you know, lemon mousse today. We cook lemon mousse. Um, we've cooked, we've, we've cooked, it's a variety, you know. It's a wide variety of foods, you know. We do it all. Right. Renaissance man. All right. Tell me, uh, who's your favorite sports figures? Oh, man. Or, give me one. Your main one. This one. My main sports figure, I like, it's going to be weird. A lot of people don't like the hitters, but I like Andre Miller's game. He's he's a good player. He's, you know, Andre Miller. He's a, he's a smart. He's not he's not one of those flashy guys like LeBron. You know, somebody say mellow, but I like the way Andre Miller plays. You know, kind of he's kind of old in age, but you know, he's a good player. How about you, bro? Uh, I'd say Kevin Durant. Because like he can score anywhere on the court. I think I can do that too. How about you, bro? To be honest, I don't have one. I just watch the game. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're rich. <laughs> <laughs> talking about football now. All right, all right. Let's go a little off subject here. How, who's your favorite musical artist? Oh, musical artist, man. I like Joe Budden. Mm. That's my man, Joe Budden. Yeah, you know, Joe Budden, he's a very, <laughs> he's a lyrical artist, you know. A lot of people dislike him, but yeah, I'm one of the, I'm one of the loyal I fans. Joe Budden. Read it. Yeah, how about you guys? Wale. I said Wale. Mm. Like rat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How about your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Oh man, sports I, I watch a lot of TV. Yeah. Sports Center. Sports Center. Yeah, sports Center. <laughs> Steve's never, never gets tired. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Sports Center. Yeah, sports Center. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Family Guy. Right. Right. <laughs> favorite favorite movie? Oh, favorite. Oh man. Favorite movie. I like the Karate Kid. What the new one? Yeah. Favorite movie? Uh, Coming to America. <laughs> why? 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 Yeah, I, I well, coming to America. Well, honestly, you that, that's America, been right? my favorite movie because, um, as in my email address used to be before I got you know to the whole college flow thing, my my uh, email address was King Jaffe Joe Eleven at aim .com. and it was crazy because that was the king's name. That was uh, his name in the movie, King Jaffe Joe Fur. So that was just you know I just looked <laughs> onto it, and that was my email address. All right, we're going to do a little bit now. We're going to go back to school now. All right, I mean, you guys have been through the Plankton school systems and everything. And I'm pretty sure there has to be been some teacher or someone that has affected you the most. Uh, oh, man. So you want to do the pros and the goods and the bads? No, just give us, give us the teacher that has affected you the most positively. Okay, you know. okay. That's the teacher that has affected me the most. Mm, I would have to say my high school career has been... Mr. Plummer, Mr. Joe Plummer. Yeah, Mr. Plummer. Though I had him, you know, this year, like it's my first year having him, but he's a great teacher. You know, his class is like, I, any other class I could just go into with a crazy mindset, like, oh, I'm so tired, but I will wake up out of my sleep. I have the first period, I'll be dead tired. When I get to his class, I'm attentive, paying attention, because, you know, he has a lot of wisdom that he can spread upon me and the rest of my classmates, and he's, he's very knowledgeable, and he knows what he's talking about. Now, here's another one. Okay, you guys have been close. You know, the basketball team. I don't know who other guys that are you close to and so forth. But if you was in a, a battle, the, the, the battle of the end of the earth, and you had to get two guys in the trenches to watch your back and fight it out, who was those two guys with? Chad and Dijon. <laughs> Chad, Chad and Dijon. Chad, Chad and Dijon. And why is that? Why is that? Chad is a bruiser. And Dijon, like, Dijon is fearless. Yeah, you don't care about nothing. Yeah, you know? yeah, Dijon, yeah. Dijon is dumped on a couple people this season, like the biggest of the biggest people. Dijon is posted. Dijon is fearless. Okay, after that um, game against St. Anthony's, uh, you know, I saw that you guys were... <laughs> I saw I saw the guys had a little bit of dis disappointment in your face, but at the same time, you know the crowds gave you a standing ovation, and I saw that you guys smiled. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, what was going through you guys' heads at that point? Yeah, I, it was going through my head. It was, it was a great ride. Like even though we lost, we wanted to win. I could still look back in the season with my head high. Mm -hmm. So it, like, was, it was a great ride. It was all sad after the game, but when we got back in the locker room, everybody was joking the way he was when we first got there. So it was. You know, yeah. I mean, like, it was. I mean, in a way, you know, it was a it was a hurtful 